Hey fam, Aaliyah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I decided to film a tutorial outside in my backyard. It's such a nice day out and I wanna be outside. I've been stuck in the house for over a month, y'all. We've been in quarantine for over a month. They're saying until May now, maybe June. Will we even have a summer? I don't know. <laughs> I decided to film my updated go-to no makeup makeup natural glowy makeup look that is like the makeup style that I wear in real life. Like the eyeshadow looks that you guys see me create, that is really only for tutorial purposes. That's not what I really wear in real life. So I wanted to show you guys the updated products that I use to create a very beautiful, glowy, blushy, and natural makeup look. Perfect for the springtime, perfect for beautiful, nice weather, perfect for brunch. I mean, we can't go to brunch right now, okay? We stuck in the house. But I guess you can have brunch with your family. So without further conje, if you are interested in tuning into today's video, where I'll be showing you guys my glowy, natural, no makeup makeup look, perfect for the spring, perfect for brunch, the makeup look that I wear in real life, then subscribe to my channel. If you are not already subscribed, tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads. And stay tuned, keep on watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's make this quick because the bees are out. I do not fuck with bees like that. I don't fuck with bugs. There's bugs out here flying all around me, but it's such a beautiful day out. I just wanted to be in my backyard. My backyard has so much greenery. It's so beautiful back here. I just always appreciate all of the plants and bushes and trees and flowers that we have back here. So first I'm gonna take my Mac I hope I'm in focus you guys because usually I have a monitor right there But I'm outside and there's no plugs out here So I'm just gonna have to wing it with my little flip thingamajig monitor, but I'm taking my Mac fix plus I'm just gonna quickly spray my face. I Showed you guys the updated way in which I create these faux laminated faux microbladed brows on Instagram I'll link the tutorial down below. It's a quick short little 50 second tutorial. I get straight to the point and you guys get to see the updated way in which I slay these brows. Okay, I still like to even out my complexion even when I'm going for a natural look. So I'm going to mix the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this concealer. I mix Golden Beige and Warm Sand for my face. It's like the perfect mixture right now. I'm putting both on the back of my hand, mixing that together. And then I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty 195 Bronzer Brush. This makes your skin this makes anything complexion based cream based look so flawless and then i just spread that all over my face and i only use what's on my hand i just kind of want that your skin but better look but i still want my complexion to be even i don't really add primer with these looks since i'm barely setting my face with these looks it's going to be super glowy but i do got sunscreen on so my sunscreen is going to be my primer for today and this just blends out so beautifully. Y'all like my little baby hair swoop? She's so cute. And I really just work to press this, buff this, blend this into my skin. This is my favorite look to do on myself on the weekends, when I'm going to brunch, when I'm going out for drinks, for cocktails, for appetizers. I love this look. It's just so effortlessly pretty. It doesn't even take me that long to do. I mean, for the purpose of this tutorial, it may take me a little miznit but you know it's really quick and easy for me to do like i could do this look in my sleep and the skin just looks so beautifully even and this concealer has super good coverage so honey the complexion looks flawless spot conceal if you need to if you have hyperpigmentation spot conceal dab with a little bit of powder and then go in with a light coverage of this concealer and i think you'll be put together honey all right boom now i don't really take no time and next oh yes next i'm gonna take a little bit of chai just to bronze just a little bit i still like to be sculpted i just take a little bit on the back of my hand like so same brush i don't really need to switch brushes like that because i want everything just to blend in evenly and i just dab it in the place where i want it to lay and then we just start blending that in i want everything to look soft and effortless like i didn't really do too much like i woke up like this period i did this look on tiktok actually but you know the girls they be liking my longer formatted videos 
to really gauge what I'm doing. So this has already been done on TikTok. If you want to go ahead and follow me on TikTok, we do really cute short videos on there that get straight to the point, honey, only like 15 seconds. So this is a longer version of what I just did on TikTok if you already follow me there. And then I still, you know, I still like to clock that little double chin action, honey. We've been eating, okay? We've been eating good here in quarantine. So let me just clock that double chin real quick, blend it to my jaw. Honestly, because I'm outside, I'm in the heat and the sun is kind of beaming on me just a little bit my products are melting right the fuck into the skin honey let me get a small mirror and a closer look and then i do just like to take a little bit squeeze the fuck out of this brush okay and then just get my nose just to sculpt my nose just a tad we don't want to leave her out get it squeeze that brush and just sculpt my nose just a tad honey because i'll just look a little like something was missing from my face if i don't sculpt my nose just a tad when i do this i'm going in with this smaller luxe beauty brush this is the 207 you know just to make sure i get a little bit more of a precise blend she's super fluffy too i'm sorry i'm looking over here it's because my mirror's over here all right now i'm gonna take this iconic london illuminator this is the original color this is so beautiful and a little bit goes an extremely long way when i first used this honey i put way too much my whole cheek was covered in glow but just dot it just a little bit like boop boop like literally boop that's all you need. Now I'm gonna take my Moda Highlight and Glow Brush and then just slowly dab this onto the high points. I know the sun is coming in. I try to sit in the shade because sunlight on a DSLR does not look good. I may have to move. I may have to move. But I just dab this and this just melts right into the face. It looks so, it looks so good. Put a little bit more right there so I can blend it to my brow bone. So we can have a nice wet brow bone and then just keep it keep it concentrated on the high point and this looks so good you guys it'll have your cheek looking so wet and moist i love a wet moist highlight i don't like a powdery highlight it just doesn't look good and it just sits right on top of your makeup it looks horrible i've seen that shit in person it just don't look good it just looks like you have a dry ass cheekbone with some dry ass shimmer on it all right, again to this cheekbone, just need like a few drops because this goes a long way. And we're just dabbing that onto the high points of our face, blending it in to the bronze tour, honey. Bringing it up to the brow bone, and just allowing it to melt into the skin. Nico, you shaking the table. All right, that's all blended in. Now for blush. We're using mostly cream products, by the way. I'm taking this CoverGirl Clean Fresh cream blush this is in 330 sweet innocence this is actually very beautiful the pigment is there it's very shimmery and shiny your cheek will look wet i just put a little bit on my cheek boop, like so take it a very old morphe brush it doesn't have a name or anything and just again begin to dab that in blend it into the bronze tour marry it with the highlight okay keep it very controlled and this pigment doesn't fade away at all because you know blush is like the first thing that disappears off your face but this one lasts and it's affordable and she looks good on the cheek i just first focus it on those apples and then i just blend it up all right, we are gonna set a little bit. I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I'm using the shade Kunafa this time. I use banana bread for like under my eyes, you know, when I'm doing a full beat. But when I just wanna set my face lightly, I use Kunafa. It's actually a really beautiful yellow powder. I'm taking this Fenty Beauty 190 bronzer brush, a little bit of Kunafa, and I'm really only setting like under my bronze tour, my chin, my mouth, my nose. I think that's it. I'm gonna keep this whole cheek wet where I put the blush, the highlight, the bronze tour. I'm keeping that wet because I wanna glow the whole day. I just love that healthy glow. So I'm not setting my cheek area at all, just under it and on top, like my forehead. Maybe the middle of my forehead. Get that mouth. All right, for my nose, I'm gonna take the Morphe E49 since it's a little bit smaller and I'm pressing that all over my nose because we don't want a shiny nose that don't even look cute oh and my inner cheeks that's the only place i'm sitting is right the cheek right by my nose the cheek skin right there yeah i'm setting that and then i'll just do right in the center of my forehead 
because I feel like that makes me look a little bit more put together as opposed to like a grease ball, okay? Because you can look grease ball real quick with this method. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the iconic London illuminator that I had on the back of my hand, just a little bit, and we're just gonna put that right down the center of the nose, okay? Just a little bit. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, no! Oh gosh, guys, I told you I don't fuck with bees. I don't like bugs. Like, why do they have to fly near me? Like, don't they see me? They the ones flying. I'm going to apply some Milani lip liner. This one is from the Salt and Pepper Kit, the lip kit, the shoe kit. This is like my favorite brown nude. I hope they come out with this on its own, like a single, because I would buy this over and over and over again. Like, I never had a perfect brown nude lip liner until this one. So I'm just gonna line my lips. It's a lip liner that's not too noticeable, so it doesn't look like, like, girl, why you got on that lip liner and you barely have any makeup on? You know, that kind of look, it won't look like that. Boom, very like a soft and nude brown nude. And then I'm just gonna top it with some gloss. This is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Gloss in Tropical Shine. I love Milani's lip glosses. They're literally a dupe for Fenty Beauty's gloss bomb. The wand is thick. The formula is slick <laughs> and it just looks so good on the lips, honey. That rhymes. Second to last, I am going to apply a lash. Girl, look at me with the rhymes, honey. I should wrap my makeup tutorial again, part two. I am going to apply the Tati Lash in a TL7. This is like that faux lash that kind of looks like lash extensions. Now, I've never had lash extensions because I don't trust myself enough to have them because I am a picker of hair. I pick my eyebrow hairs, I pick my lashes. I could never do lash extensions. But this style, the TL7s, they're so fluffy and natural. They look like faux lash extensions. So I'm gonna pop those on. And then we have two more things left to do and we is done, honey. All right, lashes are on. The second to last thing I'm going to do is just apply some waterproof mascara to my lower lashes. Because if I don't do that, then my mascara will end up on my cheek and look a mess, okay? have that? Has that ever happened to you? You look in the mirror and no one told you that your mascara was all up under your eye? Like, damn, and that should transfer down to your cheek for no reason. For why, ma'am? So I'm gonna take this, the Balm Cosmetics Scuba Waterproof Mascara. It has a very, like, skinny, like, skinny, skinny wand that's perfect for your lower lashes. So that's what I'm gonna use, just like a light coat, because it looks a little funny that I have faux lashes on and, like, nothing on my lower lashes. So we're just doing, like, a little quick little coat right on these baby lashes. I was just thinking like, damn, I'm really doing makeup outside, okay? A first for everything. I ain't never done makeup outside before in my life. This mascara is not that good. Like, I'm not saying it's good, but it's waterproof and the wand is skinty, okay? Our face is complete. Now, last but not least, y'all know I love to glow, and y'all know I love my chest to glow, my decolletage, okay, my neck. So if you ever see me with like a super glowy chest, I'm always using a Fenty Beauty Body Lava. They actually just had 30% off. I hope y'all snag that deal because this stuff is so good. It lasts so long and it smells so like warm and inviting and welcoming. So I'm using the shade Trophy Wife. Any skin tone can use any shade because once you blend it out, it's pretty open. It's pretty translucent, I mean. I was gonna say opaque, girl. I mean, it's pretty translucent. Oh my gosh, Nico. Your fart, I can smell his farts from here. Oh my gosh. So I use their Kabuki brush that they make that's meant for the body lava. I just put this all like this. Boom, boom, bam, squirt that out. And I just blend this out. Blend it in. Blend it everywhere, okay? I honestly lather myself in this, plus it smells so good. I probably don't even need this much. When you put too much, it is sticky, but you know, I don't really care, okay? I love the way the sun hits this, like, ugh, it's just so beautiful. Even if I have a little bit of skin showing, a little bit of neck showing, a little bit of collarbone showing, I just put this on because it just completes. Hi, Nico. Okay, we'll go in soon. I know. I know you thirsty. I've been having him out here this whole time filming. I know he ready to go in and take a nap. And boom. I just have a very wet. I don't know if y'all y'all can see it. I can't even see myself. So hopefully I look good, okay? And I just look so wet, moist. This just pulls your whole look together. This looks good if you have your titties out. Okay, you have some cleavage out. It looks so good. And that's about all that I use for my go-to glowy, no makeup, makeup, natural makeup look. 
that I wear in real life when I'm not filming, when I'm not on the tube, when I'm not on the gram, when I just want to go and enjoy some cocktails, some appetizers, some brunch. Well, I mean, before this shit went down, y'all, I hear the sirens right now, honey. This world is a mess, but at least we can look cute, you know, while the chaos is happening. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me creating this very glowy honey natural no makeup makeup look outside here in my backyard with all this noise going on. The trees are swaying, the birds are chirping, the bugs are buzzing, the sirens are sirening, but I hope it wasn't too distracting. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new here and this is the first time being on my channel and seeing my face, <laughs> I would love to see you in the next one. Subscribe to my channel and join me and the honeys, honey. And until next time, always remember to serve, honey. And I will see y'all in my next upload. Bye.